Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to give a demo on how to implement absolute measurement uh, in the framework of analytic hierarchy process uh, using uh, ratings mode of super decision software. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, I will be using one decision making example, uh, which is like this. Uh, before that, I must tell that um, uh, so, um, absolute measurement process is used when there exists a large number of uh, alternatives. When there are large number of alternatives, then relative measurement process of AHP is not suitable. So we need to use absolute measurement process. So uh, the example which I will be adopting for this demo is something like this, that uh, some particular university is offering MBA, um, MBA program, and this is a very competitive program. So the selection is done using uh, a stringent criteria. And uh, this university has decided five criteria for MBA student selection, which are ATR, stands for admission test result. That means the university uh, conducts one admission test for uh, for, for taking, for giving admission to MBA students. Then second one is CGPA, then working experience, letter of recommendation and extracurricular activities. And there are a large number of candidates. So uh, let us see how to use a super decision software uh, in order to implement absolute measurement process. So this is the super decision software. Now, absolute measurement process is implemented in two phases. In the first phase, we develop the model using a relative measurement, same as relative measurement process. And in the second phase, we use rating small. So let's uh, start uh, from the very beginning. File, new, then they, they are asking to give a file name. So I can give students, selection for uh, student MBA student selection. Student selection for MBA admission. MBA admission. All right. Then simple network. Now we uh, uh, create the model as usual, design, clusters, new. The first cluster is usually goal and description could be selection of the best students. Selection of the best students. Then we need another cluster, which would be criteria and the description could be criteria for students selection, then save. We have uh, created two clusters and the background is by default white. We may change this to some other color. So edit cluster, change color. We can use red here, okay, then save. Here also we can do the same thing. Edit cluster, change color. Here we can use blue. Save. So we have two clusters. Now we need to insert nodes. So design node, new. Then we click, we select node, then okay. And the node could be also goal. So the goal node have, has appeared here. In this uh, cluster, there will be five nodes. So the first node is ATR. Then another one to CGPA. Another one is working experience. Fourth one is LOR, which stands for letter of recommendation. And the final one is 
extracurricular activities and then we can say so here are the five uh, nodes we can arrange this using organizing nodes comment rectangularly okay so these are the these are the five nodes now we need to connect this uh, criteria with the goal so we select goal and then assess no sorry design node connection form and then we select the five criteria this okay so uh, goal has been connected with this five criteria we can also check by using uh, this uh, option yes it shows so um, now we need to go to uh, compare the criteria using pairwise comparisons matrix using pairwise comparison matrix so assess compare pairwise comparisons now the judgments which i'll be using is something like here 1 over 4 5 5 8 5 5 8 these judgments are up to the university 6 6 9 6 6 9 one four one four sorry i have made a mistake here let's say one over four five five eight five five eight then six six nine six six nine and then one four here is one four and then three all right so the weights are here weights are shown here and the consistency ratio is acceptable because it is less than 0 0.1. So uh, we have completed the first part um, of the rating model. Now we will be going to the second part. So in the second part, we insert the ratings. We have to prioritize the ratings. And then at the last uh, part, we need to um, provide the performance of the candidates and then the software will compute the weightages. So here is the process design ratings. And we need to click edit, then criteria, new. And there are five criteria. So we need to select, add, and then done. So once we have completed this step, then we see that these criteria have appeared as columns of this table. Now we go to edit again, then alternatives, then new. For this demo, I will be using only five candidates. Candidate one, okay. Candidate two, okay. Candidate three, candidate three, candidate four, and candidate five. So we will see that these candidates have, have appeared here, one, two, three, four, five. After this, we need to uh, insert the ratings of these five criteria. So the process is we right click, then edit categories. And uh, here we uh, have to click new and then we insert the ratings. In this case, I'll be using six ratings for ATR. So, okay. Then second one is very good. Okay. Good. Okay. Average. Okay. Below average. Below average, okay. And finally, four. Finally, four. And then we need to compare pairwise. So click comparisons. 
and uh, the judgments I'll be using two, three, five, two, three, five, seven, nine, seven, nine, three, five, six, eight, three, five, six, eight, four, five, six, four, five, six, three, four, three, three, four, three. So this is done for the first criterion. Now the savings is done automatically. So we don't have to worry about the savings. Okay, now um, the second one, we, we, we have to do the same, same way. Mm, edit category, uh, edit categories, new, same number of uh, intensities or the rate is excellent. Okay, very good. Good. Average. Good average. Four. Then we click comparisons. Uh, in principle, the judgments could be different, but I would be using the same judgments. So two, three, five, two, three, five, seven, nine, seven, nine, and very good. Three, five, six, eight, three, five, six, eight, four, five, six, four, five, six, three, four, three. Three, four, three. So this is done for the second criterion. Now we move to the uh, the other criteria. Now one important thing which I'd like to mention here: this ATR and CGPA they have relatively much higher weightage compared to other three criteria. And we have taken six ratings here, each six ratings each for ATR and CGPA, but since they are of less important, so we will be using lesser number of uh, ratings. The logic is that we don't have to be too much meticulous for the lesser important criteria. So we'll be using just four ratings. So the process is the same. Right click, edit categories, new, Excellent. Excellent. Good. Average and poor. And then we go for comparisons. Comparisons judgments will be four, five, seven, four, five. Seven, four, six, four, six, and then three. All right. So this is done for working experience. Now, same thing we need to do for letter of recommendations. Excellent. Good. Average and four. We go for comparisons four, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, six, four, six, then three. Then this is done for letter of recommendation, then extracurricular activities. Excellent. Okay. Good. 
average and poor comparisons 457 4 5 7 4 6 4 6 and then 3 all right so we have completed these uh, ratings and uh, their prior uh, their priorities now we have to come up with the performance we have to enter the performance of the five candidates so let's say uh, this one for candidate one atr is very good second one is excellent second candidate excellent performance then third candidate is good excellent good excellent good second criteria very good very good very good very good excellent average excellent average and then below average third criterion is um, average poor average poor good poor good poor and good lor poor good poor good excellent excellent good excellent excellent good the final criterion poor good excellent poor good excellent excellent good excellent good so now we uh, have entered the judgments if we have 50 criteria, 50 candidates or 100 candidates and so on, then the process is the same. So now we click um, calculations and synthesize the whole model. So here comes the, uh, the result of this, uh, uh, of this exercise that the candidate one is 0.21, then 0.25 for candidate two. So the best candidate is Candidate three, you can also, you can see the bar, bar length. So candidate three is the number one, candidate two, then candidate one, then candidate four, and then candidate candidate five. We can also uh, click view and uh, matrix priorities. So we can, we can see the result also in a separate window. So here comes the totals and these are the priorities. These are the pri from these priorities, we can sort it, these priorities, and then we can get the sorted candidates and the university can choose the best candidates from the sorted results. So uh, briefly, this is the way on how to use super decision software, especially how to use ratings mode in super decision software to implement absolute measurement process in analytic hierarchy process. So I hope that this video is useful. Thank you very much for watching.